Okay, we're looking back at the first blend file from the first tutorial in the series, which was just two videos ago in this series. And the reason we're back at it is because I'm pretty much learning as I go. I, I look up how to do something on this. I try it out once. I make a video. We're all good. What I did in this video worked, but then I was reading through the Blender documentation. It turns out doing it this way, although it still works currently uh, with owner.position, um, is depreciated. Uh, which means you, it still works, but you shouldn't really do it that way, I guess. And the technical correct way, I guess, now is to do local capital P position. So you see I can run that, and it still moves the same if I change this one to local capital P position. It still works properly. And that makes sense because they're in Blender, in the 3D world, you have your local position and then your world position which are two different things, depending on what you want to do, they m may vary. So this is a more proper way to do it. Um, so I just thought I'd bring that up before someone commented. If someone hasn't already commented uh, before I, I post this, because um, it'll probably be a couple days before I actually post this, because um, someone normally when I do something that has been depreciated, someone lets me know because I learned just by googling stuff and the first thing I learned that works that's the way I go so I might be war looking at an older post that did it the other way and I don't want you guys to learn things wrong even though they they work somewhat so local position with the capital P is more proper than just position um, so I just wanted to update you guys on that. Sorry for any confusion. And I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out the links in the description for this blend file, this Python script, and also um, to see how you can help support this site. Uh, thank you very much, and have a great day. So yeah, I like FilmsByChris.com, and I like buying stuff online. That's why I go to FilmsByChris.com forward slash Amazon for everything that I'm looking to buy online. I support a site I like, and it doesn't cost me anything. It's pretty cool. It's a win-win situation. You should check it out. There should be a link in the description. Yeah.